What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another FIFA 23 video. Today, I'm going to be looking at your teams that you're going to be taking into week one of Foot Champs. Of course, Foot Champs is always an exciting time for everybody in FIFA. We start getting the first ever red informs from 100k packs and ultimate packs, loads of coins. And it is, of course, a competitive mode in FIFA 23. So if you want to let me know who you've got in your team down below, that'd be amazing. Let's get into having a look at some of our viewers teams for today. And see who's rocking what. Let's have a look at uh, SMDX Cannon's T. Oh, straight away, you know he's a beast, man. Rafael Liao is so nice. Erling Haaland, so good. And i tell you something. I know lengthy is the meta, right? But Anthony is a beast in this game. Every time I've faced him, he has been a demon to deal with. We've got Milinkovic, Savage, Pogba and Tonali. Fantastic. Oh, maybe not for him. Oh, damn. Milinkovic, Savage, Tonali, and Pogba is nice. Informer Kanji, how is he so cheap? Spinner, Zola, Rubendish, Dallo, and Mainyan in goal. Look at that bench, man. Full of specials. Sorloth, how much of a troll, right? He comes out as a walkout. Inform, striker, Norway. You think you're getting Haaland. Uh-uh, he's the ones to watch. But yeah, that is a really nice team. Is it, I, I love the fact that for all those specials you've got on the bench, you've actually just got gold cards in the team. Could you have ever imagined in previous years taking a team like this into game week one of foot champs? You just get obliterated by like the Dembele's and the, I don't know, like St. Maximins and Zaha's and stuff. But this year, this team is so competitive. It's a really nice team. I respect that a lot. You've got lengthy, you've got explosive and you've got controlled in there. So a good mix of players. Yeah, mad. Absolutely mad. All right, here's Wesley's team. Oh, it's another Haaland. Is everybody just doing everything they can to get this man in their team? Five goals, eight assists in the first 10 games. He's got a Hunter on him as well, which is mental. 90 acceleration, 99 sprint speeds. Just mad. You've got Diaz in there as well. That's pretty cool. 25 goal contribution in uh, 39 games. There. Another Anthony. And yeah, look at that. 42 goal contributions in 45 games. Kevin De Bruyne and Valverde player of the month. Mendy, Varane, Van Dijk, Walker and uh, Courtois. This is an incredible team. That back line is arguably the best in the game at the moment. Carl Walker, lengthy. Especially with the strength boosted as well. I think he already was anyway. Van Dijk, Varane. I think Varane's lengthy. Yeah, Varane's lengthy. Uh, Ferl and Mendy, not lengthy, but just a beast anyway with the four-star, five-star. I mean, that is another unreal team. Don't you agree, right? That because of the way the chemistry is this year, this team works. Don't you like that? I like that a lot. On the bench, <laughs> Shamura Dov and Sorloff. Mitrovic, oh, my guy knows ball. My guy knows FIFA. Let's go. That is a phenomenal team. I rate that team a lot. I think this guy is going to get, like, out of the 20 games... 15 wins because that is amazing. The next player, 30k in the bag. Ooh. Ooh, I'll tell you something. I'm I'm really excited to try out Benzema when I get him for the first time. Look at those those returns, man. He's got the artist on him to get him lengthy. You know. 34 goals and 13 assists in WhatsApp. 40, 47 goal contributions, 27 games. Amazing. Uh, run the foot market, Nick was telling me. Benzema's the guy this year. You know, he thinks maybe better than Haaland. You've got Kingsley Coman, Fekir, who's brilliant. Dembele as well. Nice. The first icon that we've seen is Rijkaard. Eight games, no goals, no assists. Good pace with him. I don't know, man. I, I, I feel like, how much did you pay for him? 173k. I feel like there's players out there that are just as good as him. I know icons have that certain je ne sais quoi or whatever, right? But I think you can get these stats on these days about like 15 midfielders in the game. You can go and get Kessier, Casemiro, um, De Jong. Like there are so many players out there with solid defending and physical. Fabinho would be a good one. I don't know if it'd be going for him. But this guy right here, yes, please. I don't know how much you paid for him. 65k is how much is he worth now oh he's still there he's still 65k he is so good man kimpembe as well is so good with the shadow 89 sprint speed and 86 acceleration 
Mad dribbling stats for a centre-back along with passing as well. Good strength and aggression and great defending. Unbelievable. Is he lengthy? He is lengthy. Pembe, Davies, Kimmich. Love to see Kimmich in the team, man. Finally, finally a FIFA where Joshua Kimmich, one of the world's best players right now, is actually usable. How mad is that? Finally. I like this team a lot. You want Masraoui in there as well. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, he's, he's a nice player. 88 stamina is quite good. His passing's real nice. His, what's his, uh, sorry, his uh, dribbling's real nice for fullback. His short passing is good. I don't know. I, I, th I think you could probably improve that right back area. But other than that, Solov, Casemiro, <laughs> Shamorodov. Is this everyone's bench the same? Everyone's bench is the same. It, oh, Fofana. I forgot about him. Damn, man. That strength and stamina and aggression combination. The good pace, the good shooting from range, and good passing. Fofana's a bit of a beast, huh? That is a really nice team. I personally would get rid of Rijkaard for someone else. I like, I, I don't know. Maybe he's there for chemistry, but I think somebody else in there could be really nice. Otherwise, that is a sick team. All right, next team. Damn, he's got the informed body. Nkunku. I played a guy who had Nkunku earlier. I managed to sneak a win. But this Nkunku is something else this year. Five-star skill moves on him. Finesse shot, flare trait, outside the foot shot trait. Great pace, good shooting, good passing, good dribbling. Five-star, three-star, beast. He's a beast. Uh, Joao Felix up there as well. Damn, that's an interesting one. Five, four, and one. Six, damn, Joao Felix is 16K. Man, his dribbling is real nice. He, he's basically like Nkunku, isn't he? Five-star, four-star, though. The better skill, sorry, the better weak foot. Really well-rounded stats. I can see why you're using him. Bekir, who's a beast. Valverde and Modric, who's a beast. Yes, look at that Valverde player of the month card, man. Short passing, long passing, already so good, especially for week one of FIFA. Pace is outrageous. Physical is defending outrageous. Good composure, reactions, ball control. That is a very nice card. You're using Lima the first time we've seen him. My guy's just gone for that pace. I, don't, I think this guy missed, the, missed the, the boat on lengthy players, and I respect it. I respect somebody going into for champs for the first week. With someone like Lehmer in there. Eden Militao beast. Frimpong is very good. Modric is very good. 85 games already. Man's been grinding. Absolutely grinding. And then Klosterman again. Just gone for that flat pace. And hey, I respect it. I respect it. You could have just given him an anchor and get him lengthy. And do you know what? Not that I want to... Like, I know we'll probably... Get, like, I know what the comments are going to say in this video as well, right? I know we're going to say lengthy, like, 150 times every video for the next, like, three weeks, right? But it, lengthy players are noticeably better to the point where you're almost hurting yourself by having a shadow on Klosterman instead of an anchor. Give him the anchor. Get that extra four strength. Get his uh, his stats to, to becoming lengthy. And just enjoy him a lot better. You know? Absolutely brilliant. All right. Let's have a look. I, I like I like this team. I like this team. You've got some good players on the bench as well. But yeah, th this is, again, another gold team. People aren't having to use SBC cards because they're OP. You can actually use gold. Oh, wait. Is he already lengthy? Am I doing some quick math? Oh, yeah, he is. It's 14. I'm thinking 15. I don't know. I, even though I really knew it was 14. I have it in my head as 15 because somebody told me in the comment section that it has to be 15. And I was like, no, you don't understand what equals means. But um, yeah, no, he is already lengthy. Yeah, Shadow's perfect for him. Shadow's ideal for him. Let's go. The next team, Loja. What are we seeing? What are we saying? Our third Erling Haaland already. Ika Munayin. Good player in real life as well. Really nice dribbling stats from Munayin. Decent passing and pace as well. Oh, he's got some traits. He's got the Remat Mjeto trait, the Estilo trait, the Espirito de Equipa trait as well, which is uh, always nice to have. Jesus, look at that. 63 goal contributions, 64 games. Love that. Erling Haaland. <laughs> ah, he's like real life Erling Haaland. 12 goals in seven games, one assist. Ushmain Dembele. And, and look at that for some comparison, right? Okay, there's a smaller sample size on Haaland, right? Just seven games. But last year, Dembele would have 64 games and like 90 goals and 70 assists. This year, he doesn't even have 64 goal contributions in 64 games. Modric, Beast, Llorente, literally insane. I think probably the best midfielder in terms of box-to-box -box in the game this year. 
Uh, Bruno Fernandes in there as well. Rudiger, Animal, Varane, Mendy. This back line is ridiculous. It, this is a team that if I came up against, I'd be devastated because it, like, I think these two centre-backs are like probably two of the only maybe five centre-backs, including perhaps Sule, Van Dijk. Um, who else was I thinking about that has like a, a ridiculous card? But there, there's a few centre-backs that are good enough to deal with someone like Haaland. And I think Rudiger's one of them because... Lengthy with 95 sprint speed, outrageous physical and defending stats, and similar for Rafael Varane as well. You know, doesn't quite have the pace and isn't quite as physical as Rudiger, but great defending and just good stats in general, big as well, and that helps. You know, what is he? He's 191 centimeters and 190 centimeters. What is that? Like 6'4 and 6'3, right? They are massive. This team, this is an utterly deadly team. I probably think that this is the best team we've seen so far. I don't know how much this cost. We're probably looking at like, what, 1 million, 1.3 million, something like that. With Joao Cancelo out there at right back as well. Just a great card again. Just so well-rounded. And again, it, it's just nice to see that there's somebody, oh, obviously Joao Cancelo's a beast anyway, but it's nice to see like a Modric in a lineup instead of some overpowered, like just silly midfielder with ridiculous dribbling and uh, pace and then like good defending, you know. Uh, it's good to see Modric in there. And loads of players on the bench. Kim Maria, Schlotterbeck, Kim Min Jae, Richardson as well. But yeah, another really nice team. The next team, a five at the back rat. A five at the back rat. I haven't used Eder Militao yet this year. He does look very good though. Again, great pace, great defending, good physical. Rafael Varane we know is a beast. And Jules Koundé, great pace, great defending. Very good dribbling and good physical. Hakimi's a beast. Nuno Mensch, I haven't used myself. Uh, see, I, just, I don't like the look of Nuno Mendes, right? Awful shooting, awful passing, mediocre dribbling, mediocre defending, mediocre physical, great pace. That for me is a, like, I would see Nuno Mendes in someone's team and think, yes, I'm in. He's also got Renato Sanchez, who does look outrageous. 13 games on him so far, good pace. Yeah, clever chem style on the basic to give that a uh, boost to passing and to dribbling. And of course, across the board, I like it. And uh, yeah, Kessier. He's given him the artist. He doesn't need to because he's already lengthy. I'd personally go with a catalyst because I do think that that boost in passing is necessary. However, he now becomes ridiculous strength and aggression. And then he's got Rafinha and Ronaldo up front. And Ronaldo is lengthy. And there you go. 11 and 3 and 11. I, I, I think Ronaldo and oh, just, just amazing, isn't he? Just amazing. It's a shame you can't get the boost of pace on him. And then Rafinha, as I said. Yeah, see again, look at that. Somebody who's not lengthy. Five goal contributions in 13 games. I bet you anything before I even look. I bet you Nunez has better goal contributions to than Rafinha. Look at that. 38 goal contributions in 43. So almost won a game versus an explosive slash controlled with five in 13. It's, it's just, it is clear as day to see that getting those short bursty players is not really the way this year. Not yet anyway. All right, next up. Ooh, we've got the first here. Oh my days. Yeah, yeah. What a team. Brolin. Four-star skill moves. Insane goal contributions. I I feel like, especially after playing with them in draft so much, I feel like heroes are a class above this year. They feel like icons of like a few years ago because Brolin is explosive, right? Unless he... How tall is he? Yeah, he's explosive. And he is just great. Good dribbling, good passing, great shooting, great pace. What a card he is. Doesn't have any traits. And it's only four star, three star. But there's just something about heroes this year, man. And they just bang. They really do. 36 goals and 19 assists in 31 games. We've got a Dembele there. 8 and 13 in 31. And then a Cody Gakpo. 2 and 4 in 14. Modric. Good card. Kevin De Bruyne. First owner untradeable. Haji purchased for 300,000. 31 goals, 24 assists in 31 games. Haji's quite a fun one, isn't he, really? Again, really well-rounded stats. 
with that hunter great pace and shooting very good passing very good dribbling and four star four star what about brolin did you did you pack brolin oh you purchased him for just 250k that's mad and then another beastly back line and i tell you i've played against van dyke a few times already this year and van dyke is outrageous 89 reactions 90 composure good long passing great defending and physical and top tier pace just amazing just amazing this team is nice i think the player that we've seen in most teams so far has to be luka modric and isn't that mad isn't that so mad he's got the furlan mendy the the david alaba the real madrid rats david alaba a beast this year as well he's got some good stats in there great pace with that uh, shadow just really well rounded really well rounded passing and dribbling great physical sorry great defending all right physicals that is a beast team for weekend league i think he'll go far when i start getting to a high form in champs qualifiers i face the guy of messi neymar harland ronaldo like all the best all the oh speaking of harland our second saliba our second kessier our second or third rafinha our fourth erling harland and again positive goal to game ratio after a healthy amount of games Vinicius jr just 10 just 10 goal contributions in 19 games from somebody with insane pace very good dribbling and then good finishing and positioning yeah the dead eye is a perfect chem style for him as well Evan De Bruyne again he's a beast isn't he you're getting a better return from goal contributions from De Bruyne and Valverde than you are from Vinicius Jr. That's mad. Even Kessier there got some good uh, goal contributions. Another Saliba. I respect that. And I, I liked uh, Mario Rui when I used him. I thought he was very good. 97 jumping on him as well. And to give him some chemistry, you've gone for Di Lorenzo as well, who's decent. Not like crazy, crazy good, but definitely better than someone like Nuno Mendes. Fafana, Rashford, Tonali, Gabriel Jesus on the bench yeah see Wait, is, is he explosive he is explosive explosive players are so broken they're so overpowered maybe it's just jesus what is that 141 goal contributions in 50 games i i believe that you've used gabriel jesus to get those like 50k and 100k packs right because <laughs> there's no way you've got that contribution with him maybe there is i don't know that's a lot of games and a lot of goals and assists on drb as well maybe i'm wrong Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you just played the hell. Let's have, let's have a look where this guy is in uh, in rivals. He's div six. How many games played? Damn. No, it is all rivals. Fair enough, man. That that is one hell of a grind. Ninety games in rivals, and you're into foot champs finals. That is an insane grind. Let's have a look at squad battles as well zero points so it's not squad battles hey i i respect that a lot well done all right the next team we haven't we yet to see yeah i was gonna say we're yet to see like a monster team this isn't necessarily a monster team in terms of certain players but it is in terms of like just value ones to watch renato sanchez ones to first owner as well ones to watch anthony kaka purchased good return on him cristiano ronaldo purchased very good return on him Vinicius Jr first owner terrible return on him again Valverde obviously first owner player of the month once to watch Rudiger purchased very nice Joao Cancelo Emmanuel Petit at centre back that's an interesting one that is an interesting one I kind of get it because he does become lengthy Maybe you don't play him at centre-back. Maybe you play three at the back, perhaps. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd play him there. And then Neymar on the bench as well. First owner, 11, just two goals in 16 games. Mad, isn't it? Mad. You've got... For, this account is just utterly stacked. Let's have a little, little look where this guy is in terms of where he's playing. Division rivals, division six. Does play squad battles. Foot champs qualified. Fair enough. 45, only 45 games to get there. There, very nice. All right, 151,000 coins in the bank for my man. Yes, yeah, he did. Ooh, Holland again. 
Renato Sanchez out there as a right mid. Okay. <laughs> Holland at the end of the season stats right there. 259 goals, 242 assists. It is definitely used Holland to get those 100k packs. Marcus Rashford, not the best uh, return. Alanson Maximin, yeah. He's used these guys to get the uh to get the stats, to get the, the packs. I'll tell you something though. For somebody who looks to have actually grinded all of like the goal and assist objectives, this team is pretty poor, isn't it? Taliso and Schlotterbeck are nice. Fafana and Delafeu are nice. I wouldn't mind coming up against this team in champs. I mean, Kimpembe and Araujo are, are beasts. But yeah, again, Nuno Mendes is not the best. I think St. Max is not the best. Oh, Holland is, Holland is just the game changer though, isn't he? Holland is just the game changer. Although, you, yeah, Renato Sanchez has got a lot, of, a lot of stuff there for you. Your pack luck is horrible. Yeah, I can say... <laughs> You, you and me both, man. You and me both. We both enjoy this level of pack luck and FIFA this year. That is still a fun team, and you will still get results with that team for sure. Damn. All right, man. When I saw 500k in the bank, I thought this guy was going to have a mental squad. Pope in goal. James at right back. Just put, ju just put into the team. Cassin Wurjo at centre back, and I respect that. Yeah, that, that Cody Gakpo link. Go get that player of the month, Cody Gakpo. Why not? 44 goal contributions in 29 games. Which is nice. Harry Kane. Alright. He's been used to get the uh, the packs. Fair enough. Sancho, Bernardo Silva. Pro probably, un yeah, he's been used to get the packs as well. We've got the informed Palhinia. Great physical and defending. Bit, bit poor on passing. Good composure, mind you. And then Joao Cancelo, Yuri and Timber. I don't, I personally don't understand how Yuri and Timber is 1,000 coins, right? Especially if you get him on Kem, you know, maybe put like Wijndal in at left back instead of, well, yeah, I, I probably would put Joao Cancelo at right back and then Wijndal at left back because Wijndal would give full Kem to Gakpo, Kassin Wurjo and, um, and Timber. And then Timber on that shadow gets 91 sprint speed, 88 acceleration, insane defending, and very good physical. I don't quite know why you wouldn't want that. Oh, an anchor on Timber makes him lengthy. There you go. A lengthy Timber. <laughs> oh, sex jokes. And then on the bench, yeah, Suarez and a member. I'll tell you, Mbemba is a beast. I've been using him this morning. He is an animal in this game. How tall is he? Only six foot. He's got a big body type. He has got a big body type. And then Joshua Kimmich on the bench as well. I I, re I respect this team a lot. Christian Eriksen in there as well. Ooh, terrible physicals. Yeah, I, I don't know if... I, I'd, I'd probably sw swap out Eriksen and James for um, Vindal and someone. But hey, if you enjoy it, happy days. Oh, what a team that is. Oh my days. He's got some beasts. Di Natale, 900k, 31 goal contributions. First owner, Fernando Morientes. I'll tell you what, this guy's a beast. I used him in draft, loved him. Neymar, first owner, Neymar. Oh, my days. Valverde, of course, first owner. Kessier, same. Vinicius Jr., first owner, was used to get the other packs. Berlin Mendy, a beast. Rudiger, first owner, untradeable. What a beast he is, man. Man, you, you, by the time he gets up to like 90 or 89 for the World Cup and the wins to watch section, he's he's just going to be outrageous good, isn't he? And then Marquinhos as well. He's a good card. He's like Van Dyke, man. How tall is he? He's only six six foot, but still a beast. Hakimi's very good. And then some uh, some good players on the bench as well. What a team, guys, that is. Let me know what you think about these Foot Champs teams down below, guys. Let me know who's in your Foot Champs team for week one. If I come up against a team like this, I might just back out 1-0 and just call it a day. You know, I don't want to be playing against this kind of team in my uh, in my early games at least. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Lengthy.